Welcome, this is item number 26 from the spring 2014 test release for the 7th grade TCAP math test. The question says Olivia and her friend, by the way this is another question where they give you the equation and they uh, create something else around it for no real reason. But Olivia and her friend spend a total of $47.60 at the movie theater. They bought four movie tickets and spent $5.60 on one large container of popcorn. Now, at one point in time, people were like, they spent $47 at a movie theater for four people? That's ridiculous. Now people would, like, you'd think that was a half a decent deal. You'd be like, that's not bad. But, like, a few years ago, that would have seemed, you might as well be a million dollars. Anyway, so they bought four tickets, one large popcorn. The equation can be used to find T, the amount they spend on movie tickets in dollars. Um, so they give you the equation, why wouldn't you just use it? I mean, they give it to you. I mean, they're not going to try to put that in there if they're not going to make you use it at some point. What is the amount they spend on each movie ticket? What the equation means is anything that's with next to T, it would be uh, uh, the number next to T shows you how many of them they bought. So they bought four movie tickets. That's what the four stands for. T is the amount they spent on each ticket. $5.60 is just extra money that they spent and they spent it on popcorn and they sp spent forty to seven dollars and sixty cents so you can find the value of each ticket just by solving the equation so I'll solve the equation in more of a standard way first and then I'll just show you that you could save a ton of time by doing it a different way so I've got my little equation here when I'm solving an equation what I always do and you don't have to you do whatever gets you to the right answer um, I try to draw a line down the equal sign I pay attention to where the variable is I'm going to move the furthest thing away from it. Well, f plus 560 is further away than 4. As long as it's on the same side of the line, by the way, it has to be the furthest away on the same side. So I need to move plus $5.60. So I'll subtract. Those cancel out and end up with $42. Bring this down, 4T. Now I just need to get rid of this times 4. And I know it's times because it's touching the variable. So to get rid of times 4, I need to divide. Anytime you want to eliminate something, just use the opposite operation. To get rid of multiply, you divide. To get rid of, add, rid of add, you subtract, that sort of thing. So those cancel out. I get T. 42 divided by 4 is $10.50. And there you go, right there. Can you test it? Sure. Just do $10.50 times 4. And then add five dollars and sixty cents to it, and it gets you back to forty-seven point six, which is forty-seven sixty. So you know this is the right answer. Could you have done that in the beginning? Yes. It, there, the, you know, in some situations, it's great to go through all the effort of working out the equation, blah blah blah. But if you're running out of time, you know, it depends on how much time you have, I guess. If you're running out of time and you're really good at using a calculator to your advantage or substitution, I mean, there's no real reason why you wouldn't do it, other than math integrity or something, but you know it's multiple choice, how much integrity they really have. Uh, so anyway, 4t plus 560 and one test counts a huge portion of your grade, what's that about? Um, so all I'm going to do is put a parentheses where the t is and then I'm just going to start substituting in values to this side of the equation and see if it equals 4, uh, 4760. So for the first one I'll do t uh, 4 times 6.30 close that out and I'll add five dollars and sixty cents and hit enter and it should equal forty seven dollars and sixty cents but it doesn't it equals thirty point eight which would be thirty dollars and eighty cents so I'm gonna mark that out so I know that one doesn't work uh, so I'll go straight to what we think our answer is four times ten fifty plus five sixty See, 47.6, which is 47.60. So now I have this, and I have this, and you can add zeros to the end of anything. So they're the same thing. See how the decimal point's in the same place between 7 and 6? It means they're the same. So my answer is $10.50. So depending on your situation inside of your test, what you have access to and that sort, substitution is a viable solution like strategy here only in the sense that you've got a bunch of other problems that re require you to do other types of thinking and this is a multiple choice test so you should 
you can exploit that fact. Now, if your teacher wants you to, for in most cases on your assignments and things, show all your work to solving an equation, there's reason for that, which is that as you move forward, substitution is not very useful, for instance, in the case where you don't have answer choices, like everything else in life. But in this case, you do. So if you're in a time crunch, like, why wouldn't you use it is really my thinking because I don't there's not a lot of situations where uh, if you're in a field you wouldn't just use something that gets you the answer as quickly and as accurately as possible when you're under a time crunch and there also aren't many situations where you'll have to answer multiple choice questions in the world outside of a school where you have a limited amount of time to do it and they give you choices to choose from so use it to your advantage is all I'm going to say that's it